Now to a longtime friend of BYU Sports Nation, dating all the way back to our radio-only days in 2013. Play-by-play -play voice of the Pacific Tigers, Zach Bayrudi on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Zach, always nice to have you on, my friend. BYU and Pacific open up WCC play tonight. What should BYU fans feel confident in knowing about this Pacific team? Thanks, Spencer. It's, it's great to be here, and, and I always appreciate being on with you guys. Uh, Pacific is a team that is is continuing its its ascent, I guess, in the WCC, we'll call it. They had more wins last year than uh, they ever had since rejoining the WCC, and this year they're looking to do uh, pretty much the same thing and, and eclipse that nine-win mark from a year ago. Who should BYU fans be watching on the Pacific team tonight? They should definitely keep an eye on Ajari Sani. He's a true freshman, and he is a sharp shooter, the very definition of a sharp shooter, and he has been the X factor in a couple of Pacific's wins, uh, and he can really get going, especially if BYU wants to play his zone. He can sit uh, beyond the arc and really pick apart that zone. So Ajari Sani is one of the newcomers to keep an eye on. Zach, you just referenced the growth that Pacific has had uh, in each of the last few seasons under head coach Damon Stoudemire. What is a realistic expectation for the Tigers in terms of a finish in the WCC this season? I really think they could finish as a 10-win as a team in league, and I think they can finish anywhere between slots three and five. They were pretty much on the cusp of that last year until injuries really got the better of the team. They lost Lafayette Dorsey down the stretch, and by season's end, they had literally six or seven healthy bodies. So I think the 10-win mark is very realistic. And again, I think anywhere between a third and fifth place finish in league is, is realistic as well. Tonight, BYU matches up with Pacific in the conference opener for both teams. Ken Palm has this being a two-point game. So what do you think happens tonight? I think it's a very high-scoring game. Uh, I, I think it's a game that's played in the 80s. I know BYU is no stranger to those types of games. I do think Pacific prevails on its home court. I think this is a big, big game for the Tigers. They've had it circled for a while, not only to start a league, but against one of the marquee teams in the league. And I think, BYU, I think uh, Pacific wins a close one tonight over BYU in a high-scoring affair. Zach Bay Rudy, one of our favorites on BYU Sports Nation. Thanks for the time, man. Always a pleasure, guys. Thanks for having me.